Hi, this is Brian Mars, and I'm going to do another fly tying demonstration. This one is going to be the Clark's Stone Fly. For this pattern, we're going to need some thread. I'm going to use UTC 140. You can use 3 aught. I'm using yellow. You can use orange as well because you can get a hot head. Um, the body on the Clark stone is normally what you call Clark's yarn, especially yarn fabricated for the fly. But I'm going to show you my version where it uses what's called fluorescent orange Antron yarn. And it's, as you can see, not really much of a fluorescent orange. That's part of the reason why I'm using it. Um, two sided mylar, gold and silver. I'm going to need the gold. That's the important part. And then um, the hook, I'm going to use the Daiichi. 280 size 8. You can use any kind of a uh, stimulator hook of any sort. Um, or I've even seen them on some straight shanks as well. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to coat the thread onto the shank of the hook. Leaving it so when I have the uh, bobbin relaxed it's going to cross over where the barb is. Then I'm going to get a piece of the two-tone mylar. I'm going to tie it in with the silver side up. So when I wrap, it's going to be gold side facing up. As I flip it, now gold is up. You want to be really careful not to let go here, because if you let go here, it just basically undoes all that nice wrapping that you do and you want to overlap each wrap so the next wrap is just touching the edge of that or overlapping by a little bit I meant. So something I do to change the durability of a Clark's is I will take some head cement and just kind of coat a little bit of a drop onto that uh, onto that mylar. That way if you get a fish and it bites it it can reinforce it. If you're in a hurry, you can leave that step out. Make sure you always shut your glue so you don't have a disaster later. Okay, now I'm going to take this Antron. I'm going to pull several inches off. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to fold it in half so I have twice the thickness. Then I'm going to tie it in right there about one third of the way back with two strands thick this way fold it over so now I have four strands thick and that's the key to this Antron is you have to have it thick enough four strands seems to be appropriate and I cut the very back end a little bit of a taper so basically when that gets wet that's going to be the majority of your body I noticed from fishing it when the fly gets um, kind of used a little bit and that back orange yarn gets wet, it really looks just like a stone fly body. Okay, now I'm going to take L care. I'm going to cut a decent little pinch and I'm going to get rid of all the under fluff. I'm going to throw it into the stacker. Stack away. Make sure my tips are lined up, which they are. And I'm going to send these hairs back just a little bit past the um, yarn that's under there. You can see I'm really binding it down. And I'm going to take care of that flare later. I really don't like the flare for this pattern. A lot of people like it for caddis flies. So on, but this uh, Clark Stone, I prefer non-flared wing. Flared probably works, but you gotta have confidence in what you're fishing. I know that I've been fishing it a little bit more down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and I'm gonna compress down all those butts in the front. Some of them you can just kind of pull apart with your finger, and I'm gonna hold all this hair in one little bundle making sure that the Clark's yarn is going to be centered into it 
I'm going to walk the bobbin back with some looser wraps. Just enough pressure to kind of encapsulate all that hair, but not enough to crush it down and flare it. And you can see when I let go, it really reduced it just a little bit. Okay. Now, for our collar hackle, and I'm going to take one of these brown with a little bit of a black vein in there. I'm going to strip away the junk. Now we're going to tie this in. Remember when we get to that back end, we want to be careful to avoid uh, pulling tight and flaring it up. So now we have some orange dubbing. And I'm going to really just kind of sparsely fill the front without building it up too fast. I just want to have that nice tapered stimulator front. And then one last touch of finalizing this through. Okay, now we're going to locate our hackle pliers. We're going to put it right on the end of that. Finish the head. A little hit of head snap there. And there you have it. The Clark Stone, which every once in a while, in this case. Trim a couple of those oddballs out. There, there's your pattern. You got your yarn underside, then your top side, side profile. You can see fantastic stone fly pattern, Clark stone.